Hi guys, welcome to this video about the situation when you get an email like that. What could be the situation or the problem? I mean, the email is saying archive of Google data requested. Um, yeah, then for your name, your Gmail address, of course, you're getting this email because there's been a request to create an archive of Google data. If you didn't make this request, someone may be trying to access your Google account, check recent activity in your account and take steps to secure it. Request can be scheduled in advance. So check activity, of course then you would probably check on activity and that sounds really really scary and there are actually two situations if you are not aware of that that you have been doing something uh, why could you get this so first thing of course could be really scary somebody could have access to your google account and then of course what they do they make an archive to get everything out of it so they have a copy of all your data so even if you get, regain control of your account through Google support, they will still have all your data. Of course, they cannot encrypt your data and then uh, ask for some uh, ransom or whatsoever, but still it could be a lot of damage for you. So when you click on check activity, the following will be shown you will see a window open and saying uh, a really similar thing as in the email but it is a little bit more specific like it will say say what kind of operating system it was uh, how long ago it was it will tell you the public ip address and the location like new york or paris or whatsoever and the really really strange thing is actually then this thing here because they say three hours ago and you cannot remember that you did something but maybe you remembered the location and the ip address yeah that's a little bit hard to remember so how can we check on that so my advice is to open a new window and then like a Google tab in Chrome or so and then type what's my IP, not uh, www, not .com, no nothing, just m what's my IP and if you have activated Google instant answer, I mean that's a function which you can, uh, which you can activate on your Google account and it's a good thing because you don't have to go on some websites for easy answers you will get the answer directly from google and google will tell you what's your public your external ip is so check this number i mean you compare this number then to the number of your activity here and if it's the same ip then it was probably you the question is then only why do you not remember because they are saying it was three hours ago isn't that strange or maybe two hours or one hour ago or whatsoever i mean uh, uh, does it mean that you um, lost your memory totally or so no <laughs> that's because there's another thing here we are talking about the google take out scheduling so my advice is then go to takeout.google.com and it will show you something like that uh, if you have some takeout archive scheduled and probably you will have it and everything will be fine you just don't remember it anymore so you can actually schedule a google export of all your data and say okay make an export like every month every two months every three months every six months i, I can't remember exactly how how it is so in my case it will say yeah it will start in two months so means that yeah it and, and it's number three so obviously i have started this in december december 7th yeah i was probably busy didn't remember anymore i mean it was pre-christmas season was really busy that i couldn't remember anymore yeah when you're doing so much stuff online then it could easily 
be that you forget something that you have scheduled something and then you get an email and it scares you and you think oh my god what i have to do or does somebody have access to my account i've seen people talking about that and some people have started contacting google and they were telling yeah they have been contacting google by phone and they were saying yeah yeah the advice was really super super strange and people came up and said yeah probably he has not been talking to google it was just a scammer and <laughs> it could be that you that you find an email uh, i mean a phone number from google which is not google and then you will call and they will ask you for a password and then they will steal your data and it was actually safe before so um, yeah it's really really strange so i hope on the long term google will improve that and change this message a little bit because it is super annoying when you get an email like this and that looks looks really really scary and even more when you then click on uh, verify and you see this uh, thing saying three hours ago which is definitely not true i mean if they told me yeah, okay i've been scheduling an archive four months ago yeah i wouldn't have been worried about that it, it, it's just something i've been uh, scheduling so why would they need to send me such crazy email this is total from my side looks like a overreacting or over yeah overdo what whatsoever so uh, looks definitely too scary and i think a lot of people are just scared for nothing and they have to do a lot of research and they're doing crazy things and it, it it's just something which they have made maybe in two minutes maybe they got something on online somebody recommended hey do that and they did it in two or three minutes and then they forget and uh, yeah after that they get this email so yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you liked the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time